everybody, my name is Renee. I'm here with Youth vs. Apocalypse and Warriors for Justice, and we're gonna be doing an event today, a mural painting, and a talk back to Diane Feinstein. So I hope y'all like it. I'm gonna start with the video and then we're gonna get started, okay? louder so i'ma keep on fighting until you see my power not gonna break down but build a better tower because i'm a bright flame and never less than ember and i'ma keep on to a less endeavor and we can say lies be allies save our planet together get up and fight it's time to make the world right this a long time coming we've been fighting since the genocide of the native people then they saw my keep folk off the mother soil look outside you know this the time if we don't fight now then we won't survive act for your ancestors i'm active for mine if it wasn't for their might this wouldn't be the time get up and go get up and vote we only out of time when we lose hope it's time to fight we have the power when they try to silence us we just speak louder i'm the one who gets targeted by racism sexism violence but most of all, white silence from the lowlands to the highlands. Come on, y'all, we can do better than that. Let it be known, it's in your bones. Use your vote for a good razón. El poder está en las palmas de tus manos. Es bien claro, hay que aprender a usarlo a votar. Ahí nos vamos. Get up and go, get up and go. No matter how you do it, but you voting for the earth. Voting for the people who ain't got a chance to vote. To pride for the matter, cause they're scared about my vote. You talk about collective liberation that showed us support. Been having conversations like you're ready to implore. To save the world, we can't do it alone. So pick your butt up and pull up to the polls. Get up and go. Get up and vote. Votar es importante. Había mucha gente que no lo podía hacer antes. Las mujeres y la gente de color salieron a la calle, protestaron con valor. Mucha gente marcharon, mucha gente peleó por el derecho de votar. Mucha gente murió, so dime tú cómo se sentirían si su falso fue en vano. Ellos lucharon, pero el derecho no lo utilizamos. Que votar tenemos que sacar al presidente actual de la Casa Blanca. Tu voz tiene que abusar, no te puedes callar. Recuerda a tu vecino, juntos lo vamos a lograr. We want to spend billions of dollars on weapons and call it protection. Fossil fuels, chopping trees, these are the weapons. Oceans rising like my anxiety, increase in heat, increasing my thoughts, I cannot think. I am impatient. I want to live in a nation where my leaders actually lead. They see our lungs are being filled with the last breath from burning trees. Drowning in ashes, more flames than people. Soon the ratio between living things and air will be unequal. Is this the world you want us to live in? You say I'm so inspirational? Sit in the seat of power and still create no change. I don't just want to be inspirational. I want you to do what we demand. Hey everybody, so I'm here right now with Chris Soriano of Warriors for Justice and Youth vs. Apocalypse. Hello. Can you tell me a little bit about yeah. why you're here today? So yeah, I just want to begin by saying thank you to everyone that's watching this live stream right now. So then currently, we're here to tell Diane Feinstein to tell her that she shouldn't support others, like people that are trying to destroy our future. And we're also here to demand her to call her for a Green New Deal for California. And yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anything else you have to say? I just want to say thank you for joining us here virtually, even if you're not here to be here in person. So thank you for being here virtually and for joining this important cause and movement. Okay, I'm here at uh, Urban Promise Academy, where kids are already starting to do the mural project. We got Calisters, the best, onto the earth. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. 
I'm excited to see what, you know, becomes of it. It looks like they're doing a really good job out here. So thanks for joining us. So right now, um, as you can see, there are kids painting on the mural. So right now, we're gonna go to a couple other people and just ask them, um, do they think do they think that politicians are doing enough about climate change and also why they're here today? Mm -hmm. Say the second question again. Oh, or do you think politicians are going to make a Absolutely not. They got to do more. <laughs> yeah, sure, I can talk a little bit. So I'm here today uh, in support of Youth vs. Apocalypse. I work for Fossil Free California, and we've done a lot of stuff together, and I always think it's good to, to show up in solidarity. I think that what they're doing with trying to bring teachers together around CalSTRS divestment is really important. And I've heard some of the other campaign goals, although obviously I'm forgetting some of them. <laughs> and um, line three. Line three, that's a big one, yeah. Line three. Yeah. And I think the third is about Bayview Hunters Point pollution. Yeah, so I really hope that these the series of actions brings like really clear pressure to the politicians and to teachers and to the board yeah. members. Word, thanks for coming out today. We appreciate you. Who are we going to next? Out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my rainy. Dip it in the pail over there. You probably uh, dip it and make it work. You want to ask Miss Corey? Miss Corey, yeah. Excuse me, Miss Corey? Excuse me, Miss Corey? Yeah, I don't know. Can we do a quick interview? Um, sure. Yeah. Okay, so Miss Corey, um, What's your name and what are your uh, for Corey, um, and, and for where you're interested in the first time. So my question today is, why are you here and do you think politicians are doing enough about climate change? Um, I'm here today because I'm really concerned about everything that's happening when it comes to climate chaos. And I think that it's really important for people that are supposed to be representing us and our voices and our future to really do something about it, to put a stop to, for example, um, what's happening with our, with the teacher retirement fund for costers, because that's money that comes out of my paycheck and it's supposed to be supposed to be for my future. But if we destroy the environment before that happens, then that's not a lot to like, you know, um, be counting on. And then in terms of um, using some of that state teacher retirement money when it comes to um, 
six billion in fossil fuels, eight million for Enbridge and Line Three. Definitely, we want to stop what's happening with Line Three, um, and also because that could have a real impact on the entire industry with like pipeline development. Talk about that. It just sounds like a lot of money going towards that. Too. Yeah, and we want it to go towards like renewable, renewable energy, and sustainable future. Yeah. So, I think you answered both of my questions, so thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, and I'd like to speak a little bit. Yeah, you can go first. You can go first. Okay, I'd like to speak a little bit about why I'm here. So, I started with YBA when I was in middle school. I want to say about sixth grade. At first, it just sounded like a really interesting club to go to school, but the more I got into it, the more I realized that they're actually doing things that will, um, they were actually doing things that let me have a voice in what I want to do inside my future and just gave me opportunities that I don't think I could get. That I could get anywhere else like going to speak with people in power about things that matter to me and about things that I want and things that matter about me and my future. Thank you. That was awesome. So how old were you when you started YVA? Uh, when I started YVA, I'm going to say uh, 13, maybe even 12, because I was like just coming out of elementary school right in the uh, right in middle school. Oh my gosh, so how old are you now? 14. Okay, for sure. Uh, actually 15, sorry. I turned 15 two days ago. Oh really? Happy birthday. Thank you. You're a Virgo? I yeah, love Virgo. it. <laughs> Big Virgo energy. Another aspect to this program today is that we're going to be showing people how to make phone calls to Senator Diane Feinstein to ask her to take our climate crisis seriously and to represent her people instead of representing and compromising with the Republicans who are trying to kill us all. So a few years ago, a group of students went in to talk to Diane Feinstein about um, what she was doing and to ask her to support a Green New Deal. And Jellica was one of the students that, were that was there that day. So can you tell us what was that like when we went in to talk to her? And you got to shout really loud. So hi, my name is Angelica, and like my experience um, going into Diane Feinstein, well, I feel like expecting something more about like her actually accepting like the Green New Deal, and it really helps like benefit like, the planet because we only have like a few years before climate change and the climate crisis become really unreversible and it's too hard to like go back and to fix it all. So I feel like it was, the Green New Deal was like a great idea to like help with that and also. Um, minus like the carbon footprint that we have, this huge carbon footprint, all like, the fossil fuels and stuff that we made. But like when we went to confront her, she really went like at us, most people like that. It was really, it was really open, like really upsetting that she was not like going for it and like was really denying this and also she was like dissing us because of your views. We didn't vote for her. So like she was supposed to represent our people, represent this generation and she goes out that you the next generation so we like um you didn't vote for me, all that stuff. It's either this way or like the highway, stuff like that. And that was like really upsetting to hear about that, hearing from a representative who was like for, talking for the voices for our people. So it was like pretty upsetting at the end and stuff like that, to see like how she really like. And the thing that really ticked me off is mostly about like her offering like office. What really like um really like messed with me a bit was how she like offered like some like internship or like conditions to like help work over there, which is like what? And it was like I don't know, that was like really ticked me off like that. So that was like my experience with it. And how old are you? I'm currently sixteen years old. And when you're 18, you're going to get to vote, right? Mm -hmm. Are you going to vote for Diane Feinstein? Definitely not. <laughs> After that, I don't think so. Okay. So we can show the video now, and then we have another young person that was in that video that's going to talk to y'all, but let's go to the video now.
We're standing uh, we're at, we're asking for the new Green Deal. Yeah, sure. And we're trying the to Green present this uh, letter that we've it's made to letter. Senator Feinstein. Uh, we are trying to ask you to vote yes on the Green New Deal. Oh, okay, I'll tell you what. We have our own Green New Deal piece of legislation. Well, we're trying okay. To, we're trying to promote the Green New Deal. The well, there are reasons why I can't, because there's no way to pay for it. Yes, there is. Well, That's we have the tons of money, money going to the military. Work. Half of our, a lot of ours is going to the military. But we have come to a point where our Earth is dying, literally. And it is going to be a pricey and ambitious plan that is needed to deal with the magnitude of that issue and so we're here asking you to vote yes on the resolution for the green new deal because that is the only yeah. that resolution that will not pass the senate and you can take that back to whoever sent you here some scientists have said that we have 12 years to turn this around well, it's not going to get turned spoke. around in the, 10 years. What we can spoke. do Senator, if is this put doesn't get turned around in 10 years, you're looking at the faces of the people who are going to be yeah. living with yeah. these yeah. consequences. Yeah. The government and is supposed to be for the people and by the people and all for the people. You know what's people. interesting about this group is I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say it has to be my way or the highway. I don't respond to that. I've gotten elected. I just ran. I was elected by almost a million vote plurality. And I know what I'm doing. So, you know, maybe people should listen a little bit. I hear what you're saying, but we're the people who voted you. You're supposed to listen to us. That's your, How old are your you job. How old I'm are 16. You, I well, can't you didn't vote. vote for me. Well, she, I'm she voted. It doesn't matter. We're the ones well, who are going to be impacted. It doesn't matter. We're going to be the ones who are impacted. Yeah. impacted. You I understand that. I have seven grandchildren. They voted for you or not. I understand it very well. Senator, the cost of and not taking this action is far higher than the cost of what the Green New Deal will be. And there Here's is enormous popularity for this bill around okay. the whole country. Here's and we're asking you to be brave proposing. and do this for us and for your grandchildren. Sure. Here's what I do propose. And here is the resolution that I think has a chance to pass. So we'll give each of you a copy. You can take a look at it. And I'm trying to do the best I can, which was to write a responsible Resolution Any plan that, that doesn't take bold, okay. transformative okay. action is not going to be what we need. We well, need your you know better than I do, so I think one day you should run for the Senate. Great, I and will. then you do it your way. But by that time, in the meantime, by that time, there's going to be a big problem. I just we have won a, a big for you. election. We will give you a resolution that's thoughtfully worked out, that has a chance of passing, and which does what you want. Can they read the CD? Wait, let me go over here, okay? Okay, so sorry. Guys, this is Magdalena, and we're going to can I hear a little bit about your experience about being at the event and what you heard? Um, it was pretty, like, good because when I was there, it felt like she talked, like, at us, like, we didn't know what we were doing, uh, especially because we didn't have as much professional experience as her, but we were, like, under the rat of this. So I feel like she didn't understand that even though we're not professionals, we're still people who are really scared. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, um, did you hear her trying to make any resolutions with you guys or like trying to come to any agreement with you guys? Um, well, she did have this proposal that she said, here's her own Green New Deal, but it wasn't as bold and drastic as we need. 
Um, the ones, yeah, that. So you just didn't feel like she was trying to come to any resolution to with you guys? Um, like she wasn't trying to meet you guys, you don't think? She was meeting us, but she didn't fully meet us. Like, I think she could have showed up. Uh, you always think she could have yeah. So you didn't think that she supported the Green Day? Your are Green I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, do you think politicians in general are doing enough about climate change? No. Sadly. I feel like a lot of people are getting there, but we still have a lot of work to do. Um, I think that I'm really part of this, and I'm really happy he invited, and uh, I think it's really important to stand up for environmental justice and a good future. Well, thank you for coming. We're really glad to have you out here. We're really glad to, for you to tell us about your experience. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank 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 you. Thank
So the interesting thing about this group is I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say it's my way or the highway. I don't respond to that. I've gotten elected. I just ran. I was elected by almost a million vote plurality. And I know what I'm doing. Listen a little bit. Okay, I'm back on, and I'm here with Simon. Yeah, I'm here with Simon, and Simon's gonna tell you a little bit about the mural painting process. Or are you talking about uh, Diane Feinstein? Diane Feinstein and Phil Okay, perfect. So let's turn to Simon. Hi, my name is Simon. Um, as many of you know, uh, there's a lot of conflict going on in the world right now, um, but we're really looking to help stop this conflict. So, in the Senate, we have what is called a filibuster. Um, and it's a tradition in the Senate that any minority is allowed to stop bills from uh, passing to the president and actually being enacted. Um, and so, right now, that minority is the Republicans. So, boo to that, because there are many important bills, such as So I can talk a little bit about that. So what the reconciliation bill is trying to do is try to actually enact climate uh, justice and restoration into our world right now, and especially in America. Um, and it's really important because it's a budget plan that does not require the filibuster. So it can pass the filibuster. But what we're asking Diane Feinstein to do is to get is to help get rid of the filibuster anyways and to help pass this bill. Um, and it's really important because she is a politician who is very rich. So we're really just asking her to listen uh, and yeah. And why Diane Feinstein? Why not any other politician? Diane Feinstein is notori notoriously known for Claiming she uh, will protect the environment and uh, will uphold climate justice, um, but we haven't been seeing that uh, in the past couple years, to be honest. Um, and she's really somebody who we want to target and say, hey, like we, we, the people who are voting for you, want you to uphold your values. Okay, how old are you? I am 18 years old. Okay, amazing. And are you voting in the recall election? I am. I am voting at the same day. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about the uh, reconciliation bill? Yes, so it's a $3.5 trillion bill that will be passed through Senate. Really going to focus on, like, Biden is putting a lot of his promises for uh, climate restoration into that bill. Um, and so we're really hoping that the bill gets passed and that, you know, all these Okay, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, just that if you're 18 like me, like get registered to vote for the California recall bill um, and vote for Gavin Newsom because everyone else is uh, a weird. Thank you so much. Okay, and I have something to add. So, What's your name? My name is Carolyn. Um, I've been, I'm an adult supporter with YBN. I've been with YBN the whole time. And the issue with Diane Feinstein is whether she stands with the people and the young people and the people that she represents or whether she stands with the Republicans. So everything Simon just said is so important. And if you can't remember any of those words, you can just call Diane Feinstein and tell her stand with the people they're literally trying to kill her and they're trying to kill all of us. What they're doing makes no sense and when she says we need to keep the traditions, the Senate was formed to create to continue the tradition of slavery in this country. So there is absolutely no excuse for her to protect tradition, for her to protect Republicans who are literally letting people into the building trying to kill her. 
she needs to figure out what side she's on and she needs to stand with the people, support the reconciliation bill and the filibuster, support a Green New Deal and stop messing around and trying to make compromises with people that are trying to put people's lives at risk. So she's standing with white supremacists right now and she is not standing with the people. She needs to figure out whose side she's on or she needs to get out of the way and let someone else represent this, this state. Thank That's you, Carolyn. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate and, um, it. Yes, no problem. And I think we can show the Zainab video too because she also demonstrated how it is to make a call. Okay, so everybody, what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to get out your phones and call Diane Feinstein. Her phone number is in the bio for this live stream. So get out your phones, call Diane Feinstein. If you need some support on how to make a call, what it sounds like, what it's like, it's not a scary process, it's super simple. I'm gonna show you a video for y'all to get to know, you know, maybe how to do it. If you've never done it before, it's really reassuring. So tap in. everyone. So right now I'm just going to be calling Diane Feinstein to tell her to be taking action. Anyone can call her. She represents us and she represents everyone in California. So if you're able to, please call her. Super simple. Just dial the number. Thank you for calling the office of Senator Feinstein. We apologize for missing your call. If you are calling for evacuation assistance from Afghanistan, please send an email to Afghanistan casework at feinstein.senate.gov. If you are assistance, please email us at casework at feinstein.senate.gov. If you are calling to leave an opinion, please leave your name and zip code along with your message. Thank you and have a good day. David, and I'm calling from 94506, and I'm calling today to ask you to end the filibuster, support the Green New Deal, and the Reconciliation Bill. Do not compromise with Republicans who have shown again and again that they do not care for the well-being and the health of the people. Start representing the people, or step aside and make room for someone who will. Thank you. Okay, and it's just a simple... Wait for them to talk about, you know, Afghanistan or whatever else they want to talk about. Leave a message for her with your name, your phone number. I don't think you even have to leave all of that. But you in, this is what I think, and she'll receive that message. And you may calling her, but it's not true. There's not that many people who actually go out and call our representative. So everything you do can make a difference. Okay, we're gonna go. Back. Hey everybody, like Renee said, every little call, message, anything that you do really makes a difference, letter, anything, because, you know, these politicians need to start understanding that we're not playing no more. It's about time to take action. So, I would call is either write it down or make note to yourself, like what you're ready to say, what you want to talk about, and then just call. So. show the mural because it's come a long way it actually looks like an earth now we got that hand i was showing y'all before 
And now we got the earth, it's popping out. Let's see if I can see it from the top. We got this little step ladder here. I didn't really ask anybody if I could do this, but you know. amazing though i'm glad y'all got to see the full picture of what it's looking like i think we're going to talk with someone soon about oh yes here we are we're going to talk with chris about what it's like to make a mural like this right okay let me go to you <laughs> Yeah, so then, hey everybody again, so then, as you know, uh, Worship Justice actually designed the current mural that we're currently painting. So then I'm just going to go through the process of trying to create a mural in your school. So then I guess the first step is to make sure they have a designated group, uh, kind of like a passionate group that wants to like help you create a mural, willing to do outreach for the mural. So then make sure, I'd say, at least three people is good to make sure that it goes well, it goes smoothly in your school and that you're prepared for the event. So then I guess for right now, I guess the second step would be to make sure that you have a uh, mural that's made for the event that you're currently planning. So then that's the second part. And for the third part, I'd say outreach. So then outreach is kind of like creating flyers, going around your school, trying to uh, get people to come to the event and paint the mural. So then currently, uh, we I guess the process would be at least one to two weeks in trying to outreach and get a good amount of people. It does take a lot of work and a lot of like passion to be able to get it done correctly. So then it will be difficult in the beginning, but once you get more into the work, it will become more easier, you'll get more used to it, and you'll become more passionate for the event you're, or movement that you're fighting for. So, yeah. So Chris, how do you get everybody to work on the same project? Like, so, yeah. what if somebody's doing a Jaguar in the corner and someone's doing a rainbow? Like, how do you make sure it's the same thing? So yeah, so I'd say we need, you would have to have like at least one to two people, depending on like the design of the mural. You would have to have at least one to two people kind of chopping up the design of the mural on the actual pavement where we're actually painting the mural. So then after that, you would want to color swatch it, which is like kind of going with like a little swatch of paint, uh, color coding it. So then you would want to do that so it doesn't get messed up with the color, the design that you're planning, and yeah. Perfect, and what kind of paint did you use today? Yeah, so currently we're using Blick Tempura paint. So then this design we're currently doing is more complicated than the designs we've done in the past. So it is, it's currently almost finished. We've been doing like the bottom part and it's almost done with the, so yeah. And is this gonna be a permanent mural? Yeah, so then it does. Uh, we've done a mural over here in the past, but then it does tend to like fade away. Maybe about maybe for the mural we've done in the past, it faded maybe like after two years. So then depending on that, if you wanna do it like again, kind of renew it, then of course you are uh, invited to do that. Just renew it, make it more vibrant. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And who designed this mural today? Yeah, so then actually the people oh that are here today, they oh designed the mural. So then there's two members from Warriors of Justice that aren't able to come here today. They're currently on a trip. So then, yeah, unfortunately they weren't here to kind of see the process turn out. But definitely I feel like they'll be proud of the process seeing everybody here today doing the mural. So, yeah. Word. Well, we've been seeing it come along. I can't wait to see when it's yeah, done. Sure, me too. It's definitely coming together. It's getting very exciting. That's definitely the very joyful part of seeing the mural come together. So that's very nice to see. Yeah, everybody's been so like down. I know you <laughs> As soon as I got here, like people came and they just picked up a paintbrush. So 
I love that energy. Yeah, I guess like the feeling of like seeing the mural getting done and also seeing the end product, that's definitely like a gift and like reward after the hard work that you put into designing and from the background, like outreach. So that's definitely like the definitely a rewarding part of designing the mural. Okay, awesome. The video at the end hasn't played yet. Hey, are you in Warriors for Justice? No. How'd you get involved today? Huh? How'd you get involved? I don't want to see how it was because I've never put something crazy besides you know, besides you know. Word. And what are you painted so far? Huh? Can I um show your face for a second? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave y'all alone. <laughs> you did that part over there though? Absolutely. So are you part of a uh, YBA? Are you part of Warriors for Justice? Um, what? Oh, Earth Guardians. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'm here. What's your name? Anna. Anna, and I was asking, um, why are you here today? And like, what is Earth Guardians? Um, so uh, we came here to point to paint this mural to stop line three. And Earth Guardians is like this like program where we like help stop like line three and like climate change. That's awesome. How old are you? I'm ten. And what like what um, inspires you to you know? Stand up against Line 3 and all that. My brother actually inspired me because he started, uh, he like inspired me to get into all this stuff and stop like climate change and all that stuff. That's beautiful. Well, shout out to your brother. Is he here today? Yes, he is. Oh my gosh, wait, let's show him. Hey, and how old is your brother? He's 13. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to him next. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I just talked to your sister. I was wondering, uh, could I ask you some questions? Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, so your sister told me that um, you got them interested in, you know, the climate justice movement and all that. And I was wondering how you got involved. So I got involved with the help of Magdalena, who I'm sure you probably talked to. She's the one who started the Earth Guardians group at my school. And with that, I joined um, within a few months. And I joined partly because like, I just kind of wanted to see what it was, because I obviously, like, I cared about the environment. But when I realized how important it was and how much it was impacting me and my like, little sister, I really got into it and I started coming to rallies and marches and um, I I was not part of the Feinstein video though. I was I joined a little bit after that, but yeah. Word, that's awesome. So in what ways do you feel like climate change is impacting you or will impact you? Climate change I think has impacted me because I am from a third world country where I know that if when climate change does start to hit more gruesome effects, uh, like it already has, my, the country I'm from will be hit really hard and I don't think it will like be able to come back from it. Mm. Also, I come from a, fam a long line of like asthma um, patients. I got cured of asthma a few 
years ago, but um, I do I did realize at the time that as well would have greatly impacted me, impacted me, and I probably would have bought it again when climate change starts to get worse. Word, thank you for mentioning that. I feel you. My family's from Guatemala, so oh, yeah, you know all the landslides that have been happening. Yeah, yeah. It's been really bad. There's been these huge sinkholes and like seven, you know, story buildings yeah. will just completely just sink. Yeah, yeah. So I hear you. I'm from Sri Lanka, which is an island nation, and we've been having like a lot of tsunamis recently, which is just like completely horrible. And it's like, because we are a small island, so when a big tsunami hits, it covers more than half the island. Word. Yeah, it's really hard. Thank you for sharing, and thanks for coming out today. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we out. We out here. This is my favorite part, this bird, this oil bird here. I really wish the people who had designed this here were here today. You want to talk with me for a minute about why you're out here? Sure. Okay, cool. Can we go over there? Sure, yeah. For sure. So, what's your name? Peter, and I got a company called Maya Media, and uh, ten years, and I've been embedded with activists, sometimes risking arrest, uh, once being arrested, and um, just making films um, for activists about what they're doing uh, and what we're doing, and uh, so it's been really exciting uh, to just work important work in the world right now. The other thing is that, you know, because it was 10 years ago during Occupy, a lot of people I met then started doing videos of the famous people of the world who really saved humanity and all that all this footage of them. So I'll kind of have branding rights too, right? <laughs> you know, like, you know, why, why uh, how did the hipster burn his mouth? Uh, he ate his food before it was cool. And so, so I'm, I like shot uh, footage of these people before they were cool. And uh, so that's kind of fun. And I really, really enjoy my work. And I also do other kinds of work, like work for, uh, there's this permaculture and community center called The New Farm in San Francisco. Where I'm hoping you versus Apocalypse will come to a presentation there because this is a farm. This is a permaculture area, and yet there are a lot of people there who don't know that now is the time to rise up, now is the time to be an activist, even if you've never done it. It's like, <laughs> the New York City subway system is flooding, and the West Coast is on fire. I mean, what exactly were you waiting for? Mm. Thing, right? Yeah. Like, did you need a message from the heavens to come down with a big banner? Up there? I mean, I think that's what is happening now. Yeah. I feel like with the virus, the fires, the floods, like you said, I mean, in the Bible, they say it's we have our own versions of that, so right. thanks for coming Our indigenous out. leaders, uh, at least from some nations, talk about the black snake, yeah. uh, the black snake prophecy, and that it really has come true, and it really is poisoning uh, the water that people in the future have to drink, you know, like, what are you going to say? Even if you're a young person now, like let's say you're a teenager now, well in 10 years you won't be a teenager and there will be other teenagers and those teenagers will come to you and say, what did you do to stop this? I'm really angry. Mm. And you will say, what? You know, we tried. Okay, well we're trying. Or will you say, well, I didn't think there was much I could do so I sat on the couch and kept eating Cheetos. And things <laughs> like that, you know. Like, yeah. Maybe the second answer won't win you any friends in the mm. future, you know. So, uh, it's, it's just really important that everybody join in and do whatever it is they do. And a lot of people think of being an activist means or you have to fight the police or speak. It's not like that at all. Um, even in actions where there are risks of arrest, 
there are people who do not risk their rights to or support people. And those are the minority of actions anyways. Most of them are like this, where we're all having fun together. My film's about um, creating artwork. It's all about how everybody's working together as a team to help the world and each other and to form a community. Mutual aid networks are a big part of what we do also, not just protesting. So this is what everybody should be doing now. I'm sorry. And if you're not doing this now, I really have to ask you why not? What exactly are you waiting for? So I'm really happy to see people through this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, I'm 61, by the way, and Youth versus Apocalypse welcomes me as an ally to make my films here. And I have a lot of films on my um, YouTube channel and on my Vimeo page. I, Vimeo, V I M E O dot com forward slash Maya Media. Maya Media is my company. You can see all my other videos there. The last Youth vs. Apocalypse video is there. That was uh, at the Federal Building in San Francisco. Um, a lot, um, a lot of the work that we do is made an entire city block so that when the executives look down from their offices, they have to see our work of art that says that they need to save their own brand. Hmm. So, yeah, so that's what I do, and thanks for asking. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Sure, very well. I appreciate it. So here you see it, we got youth, we got older allies, but it's obvious that the youth really know what they're doing. Um, the older folks are really following their lead and that's what we're out here to do today is to listen to the young people. Um, as we were all a young person before, a young people, you know, they may be learning things, but at the same time, they know a lot. They have a lot of wisdom and a lot of medicine for us older folks that might feel a little bit uh, like we can't do anything. And young people remind us that we can always do something. So that we're out here today doing something and it looks really beautiful. So thanks for joining us on this live. I think we're going to show one more video and then we'll be back at six. The mural's done so I can show y'all what it looks like. Um, thanks for sticking with us, the folks that have been here on the live, and thank you to everybody who, you know, may tune in later. So, I'm going to show you this last video. Cabot, where you at, bro? Oh my, oh my, are they really for the people? Yeah, we see no sign. They trying to build walls, but who commit world crimes? Gassing us up while we pay more fines. Oh my, oh my, power to the people, so the people gon' climb. We gon' keep flowing like the rivers in the sky. Generations of resistance be the reason for the rhyme. Money spent just to bring the torture to our lives. Money spent just to see the tears in our eyes. Money spent to kill off and see us alone. Where's the money at? Cause how could we know? Money for the wealth, the abusive and white Money for the powerful men who are high Money which is French red in COVID-19 Money should be spent for a future that's free Cause we are the ones marching for a change We are the ones protesting for the same right Equity, peace and efficiency Water and air, just show us some decency Terrible lies and empty promises Your money poor as that dirty Do my water game in today Where the many you to change? Do you try to hide from us? But we figured it out Now that we know we'll try to change another Another problem of climate change Our future disappearing Where do you make a change? Don't say there's nothing we can do People are dying Have you not got the clue? Stop using all the harmful machinery We want to see the money Fund it into Frontline communities Not to the fossil fuel oh Industry my, so much oh control really Now where's the money no at? They trying to build walls But who commit world crimes? Gassing us up while we pay more fines Oh my, oh my Power to the people So the people gon' climb We gon' keep flowing Rivers in the sky, generations of resistance be the reason for the rhyme. We're standing for a better world, like polar bears starving for food. You're leaving animals an unlivable home, like you're leaving us an unlivable earth. Why fund for the end of our communities and not fund sustainability? We need investments, not land, then it will be art. We need to stop spending money on hurtful things. We plant the greenery so we can have a pretty scenery. Fossil fuels, police, all activities, and enforcing white supremacy need to go and need to protect our home. So, where's the money at? Callous has been using the 
sell money from teachers to harm our communities since Billy went to fossil fuel industry while censoring youth from reality. OPD and RPDs get paid for terrorizing when the money should be helping people in need, not feeding the pigs. Don't think I forgot about the governor, Gavin Newsom, such a good giver. Issuing fossil fuel permits like healthcare should be fasting for free, not getting other little kids sick. They're afraid of people knowing the destruction they be funding, greenwashing, they be showing and get mad when YBA confronts it. Oh my, oh my. They're trying to build walls, but who commit world crimes? Gassing us up while we pay more fines. Oh my, oh my. Power to the people, so the people gon' climb. We gon' keep flowing like the rivers in the sky. Generations of resistance be the reason for the rhyme. Yo, Cabot, where you at, bro? Oh my, oh my, are they really for the people? Yeah, we see no sign. They tryna build walls, but who commit world crimes? Gassing us up while we pay more fines. Oh my, oh my, power to the people, so the people gon' climb. We gon' keep flowing like the rivers in the sky. Generations of resistance. Okay, y'all. Uh... Thanks for sticking with me, sticking with it. I'm gonna take a little snack break. This uh, mural is almost done and I'll be back to show you the final results. Thanks for tapping in. This is Youth vs. Apocalypse and Warriors for Justice painting a mural at Yupa uh, or Urban Promise Academy in Oakland. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you soon. Peace out.